Here it goes. Hello? Hello? Sorry, I missed a call from you. Oh, who's, who's speaking? It's Mike from uh, the Investigators. Oh, Mike yes, Mike, Mike. Yes. Um, how, how can I help? Yeah, um, I'm just catching up with you again. Um, I'm still working on uh, on uh, um, Tony Fortune, the lawyer, uh, right. for, for the case. So I, I'm just updating with you. Um, I, I'm getting a letter from him, but he's going to search me out first. And okay. I've got to, uh, I've got to let him know who I am, and that before we can go ahead with anything. Who, John, who were you dealing with from our firm? Uh, uh, Graham Allen. Graham's not, not with our firm. Would you like his mobile number? Yes, please. Okay, one moment. Yeah, Graham's not with our firm. Would you like his mobile number? Yep, sure. Yep. One double nine. Yep. Double nine two six. Two six. Um, what was he? Is he still in Browns Bay or is he in the city? Yes, he is. Yes, but oh, you've, you've reached a different firm. We work with Graham on occasion, but oh, on a I I basis, see. so you oh. need to call him direct. Oh, I see. So, so you, I could still call on you if he's busy. Uh, if, no, no, we no. Don't. Case. That's Graham's case. So you oh. need to talk to him. Okay then. All right. That's okay. fine. Thank, thanks, Thank you. Bye. Oh. Those fellows have pulled away from Graham. Hmm. That's strange. They were handling it before. My case seems like it's a bit touchy. We're going to see who we end up with. I've got some other options as well. There you go. Graham, Graham Allen. Yeah, hi Graham, it's uh, John Wanoa here. I'm still uh, working with Tony Fortune, I just got off the phone to him, uh, on uh, on the case. And uh, I've still got to get him to get a letter to you, but um, I'm going to see him next week again. I've seen him twice already with Morris Baker, my friend up in uh, Hokianga. So I've been up there for the last three weeks, busy with him. And uh, he is uh, going to pay the bill. Um, for for both of you um, to uh, make sure we get a letter to you at least and he's apostolizing the documents I've given him and some more I'm going to give him. I'm going to email you the ones, the latest ones I've got uh, of what he has um, because I'm anxious to get on with it um, next month or, early, or this month at least make a start on it. He's asked me to get a um, passport to um, put with um, with my identity identity for him, so he's going over things at the present time in the last three weeks. Okay, thanks, uh, Graham. Give me a call if you can. Otherwise, just wait for my email. Thank you. Bye. That's Graham Aylett. <clears throat> he's been on my case since 2012 for Cook Street, 77 Cook Street. He requires a letter from a lawyer. I've gone to the top lawyer to um, get a letter. He could have given me a letter to give to Graham, but I want my lawyer to know who I am and to know everything about what I do. That's going to take a little bit of time to go through with him. Um, as he said, he's going to sit down with me next week. I'm hoping to get my passport, um, and so I've got to get that first. Um, and then take it in with my license to identify me and um, I shouldn't have any problem with that uh, and then go through this document that I'm going to publish for you online 
as to disclose everything who I am and claim to be and to make um, um, claims or make statements, facts, and evidence in cases that I've been working on over the years uh, accumulated to this point in time uh, under the King's Bench Court system of law on magistrates and native magistrate courts on my eyes in this country, New Zealand. So um, that's the lawyer taken care of today and um, uh, the private investigator get back to me but I know Graham uh, well enough to know who I am uh, if only he could tell the lawyer who I am but uh, it's between me and the lawyer. I did tell him that um, Morris can come down at any stage but I'm um, um, getting me sorted uh, on the legal side and I've got Morris's documents here, his titles here, I'm in custody of now with the Manukau titles and deeds, these are all deeds here uh, of his titles, his ancestors, Hori Takuri, and um, Ramaka, the father of Hori Takuri, and uh, the son of um, Hori Takuri, um, Heremaya, in their in their book. Okay, all his all his titles, all the ten blocks titles are in here. But I'm not obligated to show you anything um, of Morris's private um, property, but only to show you. Um, Hori Takuri, Hiramaya, Hori, son of Hori Takuri, here. Okay, so that's the last known ancestor of Morris Bakers that I'm stitching him to these titles of those ancestors that hasn't been done, hasn't been succeeded yet. He has succeeded on the Maori land court but not the British land court, um, uh, land title transfer. But I'm going back in time to put it back. I'm wanting these lawyers to do it. Uh, Fortune Manning lawyers to do it. It appears that um, uh, the other in private investigators have dropped off uh, from associating with um, Graham Allen. And now that, that worries me a bit because of um, Mike, uh, Mike, what's his name, Mike, Mike Gillen uh, of the, um, the invest investigators.co.nz um, 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 uh, having nothing to do with Graham. They were taking his calls for me before and said that they'll wait for Graham to give them um, instructions but I'm just saying to Mike uh, that um, I could have got them to do it but he's saying that no, this case is, is no longer their case, it's back to Graham Allen. It looks like he's um, going to tell me um, whether he's carrying on with it or not. And so that'll drop straight on to Tony Fortune because I tell you, that man is older or senior would have a fair idea of where I'm coming from. And, and uh, don't get me wrong, Graham Allen has been around uh, in Britain. Uh, as a police in the Scotland Yard and here also as a police of New Zealand and his own private practice as a private investigator. So um, his profile um, uh, for me was uh, crucial. He has all my information from 2012 on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, to seize it. I've contracted him to seize it. I could get him to seize it now under our own documents. But I felt that I'd need to go through with Tony Fortune at least to get them apostolized, to make them legal, make the flag legal, make me, me legal, make everything British legal here in order to enforce our titles, these original deed titles over any other title that's corrupted our land. Okay, so that's all I want to say really. I don't expect any more calls. I don't want any more calls. I want to transfer those videos into um, the, um, YouTube, but that takes a long time. 
making videos takes a long time. I've got stacks of videos I haven't even done yet, but I'll get around to them yet. Um, that's all I'm going to say for now. Um, I'll get on with it. Okay? Today it's, um, today it's Friday, the um, 22nd, 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 23rd of February 2018. See you later. Have a nice day. Bye. And a weekend. Bye.